Hello guys, welcome back to another Soul Ash 2 playthrough. So today's playthrough, we're gonna be attempting the thievery skill. So we're gonna try and master the thievery skill and attempt to loot all our villages that are around our village. And we're just gonna steal all their gold and all their, all their resources. That's the plan anyway, so let's get straight into it. I'm gonna start on a world that I've already played in, which I did die in my in my Stormthrower character. I got to level 48 at Stormthrower and I died to a hard POR, which is really annoying. So we're gonna start again just for the fact that I've got a couple of settlements already set up so i've got some gold to start off with i've got some decent armor and some decent weapons so let's get straight into it let's make a new character i think we're going to go for we want some of high dexterity really so we could go for a goblin but obviously i've got to keep an eye on my water and my food because they do give sneaking plus five as well Or Dark Elf. I could go with Dark Elf. Their dexterity is plus three. No. Let's go for a Goblin. We'll try a little Goblin out. So let's pick a random name. Let's go for Zork. Sounds like a Goblin name. Goblin Thief. So let's randomise a character. We'll go for this fine looking chap here. So first starting skill. We're going to go for Thievery. And we're going to pick... A, we're going to start with a knife. Second skill we are going to go for, I'm going to go for hunting just for the fact that you can use your abilities to the scan, not the set, the set, the set in the surrounding area. And we are going to go, so we start with a short bow and an arrow. And then for the next one, we're going to go for, probably go for athletics, you know. So that gives us a, uh, more carry weight um, and it allows us to throw things and climb and jump from higher buildings and stuff like that. So let's go for that one. So let's continue with that one. And we are going to start at, let's start at Brugden Camp. So that's now producing meat and coal. Let's get straight into it. So first things first, I haven't even got a water skin. So I've got no water at the minute. So let's just try and up the water and first thing we get nine unspent skill points so for this build I'm gonna bang them all onto my dexterity so I'm dealing 13 17 damage just with a knife at the moment so let's get out of here and I'm not grabbing food actually what is this gooseberry bush let's grab some gooseberries while we're here Let's, go. Let's head back down to some settlements so I can grab some decent weapons and some decent armour. So here's my settlement, Mordor. Let's go for this. As you see, I've got 57k in the bank here. So let's go to my stash. So I've got a bit of gold, so I can boost my skills up if need be. Let's get rid of them gooseberry seeds and let's grab some armour. Uh, we've got gold chain mail. I've got a couple of legendary shields. Uh, we've got glowing ceremonial dagger. I don't want that one. Sleek belt. All right, let's take the belt. Uh, let's take the aspen flat bow and get rid of the acacia short bow. Uh, we'll need some arrows as well. Let's get some solid arrows. Got some bronze chain mail there. We've got iron chain mail. Is this physical plus eight? All right, let's take that. Uh, iron nasal helmet, we'll take that as well. Got some silver chain mail there. Uh, we've got the album bandit knife, which gives us intelligence plus two. And that's also acts as a cutter as well. So we should be able to get some meat from that. We've got a glacial amulet, we'll take that. Uh, warm, warm fur loincloths, so that gives me stamina regen. So we'll take that as well. And I should have some daggers down here. Point your ceremonial dagger. And then. Uh, let's 
So what else we got? Copper knife. Uh, I could put the brigandine on. Gives me endurance as well. Strength and endurance for the quick one. Right, yeah, let's put that on. Let's get rid of the iron chain mail. And then we've got morbid long shirt. Gives me dexterity plus one. Yeah, let's go for that. It does it just uh, it does resist reduce my physical while well, minus four also. I might leave that. Got the ancient robe. Yeah, let's go for the ancient robe. And apex hat strength and dexterity. We'll put that on as well. And I've got some nice daggers here. Chromium rune dagger. So that gives me willpower, strength, dexterity, and willpower for that one. Only three to six damage though. Right, let's take the barbaric one. And then what's the apex hat? Give me dexterity plus one. And we've got a gold nasal helmet there instead of the iron one. Right, let's get rid of that iron one. Then we'll put, we'll put the chromium one because that gives me endurance and physical plus eight. So we'll go for that. Sneaky leather armor. Well, that gives me sneaking plus two and dexterity. So that might be better actually. And the brigandine. Right, let's get rid of that. Let's put the sneaky one on. I want to be all sneaky and rob people. Right, let's go. I'll take some gold with me as well. So let's go for what should I take out? Let's start. Let's take out 5,000 gold. Let's equip all of these. Put my belt on. Uh, we'll put the ancient robe on with that. We'll put the hat on. Put the knife on. Put the loincloth on. And that. There we go. So dexterity is plus 25 now. So I'm dealing 37 to 48 damage, which is pretty good to start off with. Intelligence and willpower is not very high, but you can always boost that up at later on. So I'm dual wielding copper knife and a barbaric rune knife at the minute. So yeah, we'll go for that. I could actually take two knives with me, couldn't I? All right, let's grab another dagger. We could dual wield two daggers at the same time. So we'll go for the... Uh, what should we go for? That gives me sight as well. Galloping rune dagger. All right, let's go for that one. Then we'll put that one on. There we go. So my sight's at... Uh, sneaking 31 at the minute, hearing 9, that boosts my sight as well, let's put that one on as well, 47 to 62 damage, and dexterity is 25, so that's pretty good at the minute, it's a pretty good build, and these are not cutters are they, so I will need to keep that knife, to put up some carcasses for food, uh, I will need a, I will need a water, something to Carry my water with as well. Right, let's quickly go and top that up. Let's see if we can find someone to craft me a water skin. Uh, ask for directions to the leather worker. Right, let's go visit the leather worker so you can see if you can make us a water skin before we set off. I'll be dying of thirst. Where is he? Ah, is that him? Bitch, you can't see a thing in the dark. Oh, he's not the leather worker. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to sleep till the morning because I can't see a thing. There we go. Early morning. Oh, where's the leather worker? Are you the leather worker? Yeah, there we go. Let's go speak to him. Hello, sir. Can you craft me a water skin? No, you can't. Annoying. If I have a look at my skills, what do I need for a water skin? Level 6 on adventuring. And I need 3 leather. Okay, fair enough. All right, let's go drink some water and then we'll have to go to some biomes where there is actually water now just so I don't dehydrate. All right, let's go. Let's go find someone to 
use my new daggers on. I think if I head over this way, at least I can keep myself hydrated with the rivers over here. So, is it going to let me go over to there? No, it's not. Out of there. Right, it's going to let me go up to there where there's water. So, let's go over there. Here we go. Let's just follow the rivers. any settlements I will need to get some food right so we've got some meat down here so let's enter this the twisted howling and there isn't a POI here either but we have got some firewood good which means we can craft a torch oh yeah that's a club there's a torch oh, I haven't got locked out of iron adventuring for a torch we'll need to get to Level 3 on adventuring. Okay, right, we're going to have to pick some things just to boost our adventuring skill up. Grab this firewood. And what we got here? What's this? Food, whatever it is. Apple tree. Nice. Let's grab some apples. boosted my adventure up yeah it did I still need to hit that level three to make a torch because I can't see a thing in the dark I might have to sleep I sleep into the morning oh, we have got someone around as well potentially food Deer. Nice. Well, I think we're gonna hit them. Let's get the uh, bow and arrow out and let's hit the deer. There we go. Two hits, dead. Nice. Get them arrows up and let's get him up. There we go. We've got some nice fox skin and some meat. How many arrows have we got? Two left. We've got a raspberry bush here. Let's take that. Leave this, let's head over to this one. So we could do, oh, I can't do any fishing at the minute because I've got a fishing rod. Fish meat and some apples in this one. Got any more raspberries, strawberries this time. Yeah, we've got some blueberries, nice. Or strawberries, so we've got a uh, 220 on the food at the minute, so that's good. And this is all these gatherings boosting my adventuring skill up as well. Got there, amber deposit. Um, I haven't got a pickaxe, have I? No. Okay, fair enough. I could have sold that for some gold, but let's just grab all these fruits. What's that? We've got an apple tree there by the look of it. I'm 
what's going on in that one. Head over, let's follow the river. Again, there's no POI in here. I've just got to be careful on this because it's a world that's already been created. There is going to be some hard POIs around. Can't identify it at the minute because of my level. I just got to be mindful of that. There's going to be some hard enemies lurking around. Oh, we found someone. Who we got? Oh, yeah, Moss Man. Right, let's go for them. Take out the Moss Man. Let's use my ability on them. 14 damage. I'm using now crude arrows. Yeah, so this is boosting my skill of entry. It's going up to 17. So my hunting is going up. All these attacks as well. And he's not doing too much damage. Get me for two. We'll cut him up. So we've got some Moonlit Moss. this road down. Oh, ran into a moonlit moss. Where did he come from? Oh, it's dark, so I can only see like one square around me, which is annoying. So what am I hitting him with? Oh, at the minute. Use the ability. Nice. Got some meat and some live moss. Human or bones from that also. Let's go because I can't see a thing. Yeah, we'll just follow the river up this way. We'll sleep till the morning though. We'll look at my backpack capacity. Yeah, so I've only got carry weight at 24 at the minute. It's not great. My adventure, and I need one more point to get to adventure at level 1. There we go, we can see now it's morning. Not, not a lot going on around here. Well, there is a bush that actually give me a venture in plus one. Give me a skill point. We've got some flint as well. We'll take that. Drink from this river. Okay, right, let's move on. Should we head over to the swamp? Was oh, the jungle? Head over to the jungle. I was not come into contact with any gorillas this early on. I mean, I think I'll be able to deal with them, especially the daggers, but might, be, might hit a bit hard in the early game. And that's sleep to the morning. There's no POI around here, I can see. There might be gorillas and baboons and snakes. Good, because that'll boost my skills up. Oh, hello. Oh, see anything? Got a cave in here. I can't see a thing. I do need a torch before going to any caves, really. Not much going on in this area.
No, nothing in here. I can't see anything. So on to the next area. Let's head over to this one. Oh, found something. What's that? Lava. Silkworm. Get the silkworm out. There we go. Be able to get some meat from them. Yeah, lava meat. Nice. Usually when these are around, it means there's snakes and monkeys around. There we go. Nice. So hunting's just gone up. Another level, so let's have a quick look at hunting. I'm on level six at the minute, so I can track down closest prey when handy. We've got here honey golem, is it honey? Right, silkworm cocoon. Oh, nice. so there we go. So we've got adventure in level one. So I can make a campfire. Okay, so we grabbed all the silkworm thread over here. This is making more silkworms. Where were they? Definitely saw them over here. Looks like they've all run off. Those uh, and our arrows, we've got three, nine. Oh, so I've got 12. Okay. I'll do. Let's go. Let's leave this area. We managed to boost two of our skills up. We need to start using the daggers as well. Uh, let's head over to. Let's head over to this direction. Oh, I can make it. Can I make it to there? Yeah. I'll top my water up as well. Let's head. I've already been on this one. Leave. So let's make our way along here. What is it? It's late evening, so probably got better off sleep till the morning now. Someone sneaking around to where are you? Can't see a thing. It's a wolf. Right, okay, I'm gonna switch to my daggers for this one. Right, let's dual wield daggers, so I should get it. It's pretty easy. Let's use the ability on that. 24 damage, nice. We get two hits, we'll take that. So we've got some nice wolf meat. And it's too noisy over there, so let's hide be in this bush here and let's sleep to the morning. There's some more wolves around. That does give us some uh, wolf fur as well. Let's walk on here to make a bit of noise, see if they come out. Or blueberries. Me yet. Pretty good. I'm gonna sneak in two hits, you're dead. Nice. River. I've got some raspberries here which you can pick up and sleep again. I really need to craft a torch. Oh, we've got some flint, we'll take that. Classy looking like 20, 
20 of 26, okay, so not too bad. I wonder if picking up these this firewood, obviously it's got to um, boost my weight up, but I wonder if they actually boost your adventuring up. So 22 from that one. And a 22. No, it doesn't. Well, that might boost my adventuring up if I picked up the uh, firewood, but it doesn't work. A drink. Definitely do. So, what do they give me? Venture in, that's nothing. And a 22, okay, it's not giving me much. I'm not sure how many of these you actually have to pick up for it to give you a point. Okay, there is a POI here, so I've just got to be careful that it's not a hard one, because if it is. Oh, I won't even last. Not with the armor I've got, anyway. Let's quickly sleep to the morning so we can see it and we'll go and check it out. Hopefully it's an easy one. No, it's not. Got oak arrows, they, they've got over at least 250 health. Oh, okay, I need to go. I'm not powerful enough for that one. It's going to be a high, it's probably going to be a troublesome or hard. I think it might be troublesome. We won't bother anyway. They didn't spot me because my sneaking is quite high, so. Get out of here, we'll grab some of that. And let's go. So we're running into areas quite blind at the minute because we can't see a thing. Go over to the hills. Copper all there, but I haven't got a pickaxe. Down here, let's have a quick look. Oh, so we've got some sapphire here, but I still can't get it. I might have a pickaxe back at base. I think that's just going to uh, put my adventure in a lot more. Let's head back, let's grab a pickaxe. And then if I start mining that ore, that'll boost my adventure up, and then I can craft a torch and a water skin. Got to get to base without dying of thirst. So where can I make it to? So I can make it to that one. And we found a couple of easy locations. Yeah, nice. Well, I was going to take them out because I definitely know there's going to be enemies there. Boost my skills up. What are we on midday? Yeah, have it. Cavian village. Adventure's just gone up the level as well, so my level two. Oh, we can I build a quarter staff? So I've got here, yeah, I've got a turtle shell and a monocle. Take it then. Very good, but very cool. Uh, we've also got a goat here. Yeah, let's go milk this goat. And then we'll kill him. Go, we'll take your goat leather and your fur. Milk you. Take them, we'll cut you up. Just take all these bits that we don't need so we can salvage them as well. Salvage that one. 
And what else? More bone knife. Yeah, salvage that to train some weaponsmithing. So we'll quick look at the skill. They're level six now, so I can actually pickpocket. He's good. I'm not around for any more enemies. So let's have a little rest here. I'll sleep in the bed after I've just murdered them. I think this one's complete, is it? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's leave this area. Carry on to base. I still want to get a pickaxe. I'm not sure if we've got one in moustache, but I'll go and have a look. Some of the stuff I don't need. Human or bones. Uh, I'll keep the firewood. Flint. Do I need a flint? Craft a torch. I don't think I did. Water skin. I need three leather. Keep the leather on me. And torch. I need one firewood. Okay, so I don't need a flint. Get rid of the flint. Uh, we've got some buckskin, I'll keep that. Get rid of the fur, turtle shell. Get rid of the seeds. Green little moss, let's get rid of that. Little thread. The silk thread, we'll keep the meat. We've got the goat leather. The feathers and the bird bones. So let's see if I've got any other leather. Uh, pickaxe first. Have I got a pickaxe? Hmm, don't think I have. Thought I did. Got a better bow though. That gives me sneaking and dexterity. That one. Well, well, let's take that. Let's get rid of the Aspen flat bow. We go. Should be able to do some more damage with the bow and arrow now. And I want leather. Should have plenty of leather because we make leather. Yeah, I've got goat leather. Take the goat leather. Let's take the book skin. And. Let's I need three for a water skin. So I'll take five with me. And is there anything else I need? Meat. I've got plenty of meat I can take with me. I'll take some meat to top that up. Saves me having to go and butcher anyone. 24, I can only carry 25 at the minute. I think that's it, I can't 
take anything else. Yeah, so max capacity now. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that one. Okay, so the pickaxe failed. Let me top that up. You there, what are you? Okay, let's go. Let's leave the area, pickaxe didn't work out because didn't have one, so I'm just gonna have to do it the old fashioned way by raising my venture and my scavenging. Still need to stay on the rivers till I get that water skin. Over this direction. Head up to there, yeah. And there's forest going on. There's no POI in here, but hopefully there's some. The resources. What we got there? We've got butter cap patch. Right, let's gather them. Let's look at adventuring. 12 or 23. Yeah, so it takes a lot of these to actually boost your adventuring up. Mining's probably the best way of doing it. take a while. Oh, nothing on here, so quick drink, let's go on to the next one. Let's follow these round. There we go, so we found a easy location there, so let's pop into that one. And we've got another one, nice. That boosts my adventuring up just by finding them places. End of this region. And then we've got nine. Yeah, I'm not fussed about them. What we got oh, okay, crocodiles. Well, I think I'll, I'll be able to do damage against them. It's just when they hit me, they might hit quite hard. Let's try and isolate them. Okay, I've been spotted. Yeah, so I could do them with two damage. I'm not sure what they do to me. One damage. Okay, fair enough. Not as bad as what I thought. Nice. So we've got some nice crocodile leather now as well. Take these out now. Oh, this thiever has gone up. Have all this leather and carry it all. Uh, Thievery's gone up to level 3 now, is it? No, 7, sorry. I've oh, just got another skill point. Next one's going to be Vanish at level 9. I'm going to be able to carry all this. I'm not. 
Uh, crocodile leather. So let's get rid of something. I need to get rid of. I need the firewood. You know what? We'll have to leave it for now. I'll just leave that until I get a backpack. I'm going to take the rest of these out just to boost my skills up. Yeah, they, these will stay on the tile as well. Till it resets. I could always come back and grab these. Ah, there we go. Four rugged fur pouch. Nice. We'll take that and a weasel tail. Oh, we'll definitely take that. Let's get rid of something. So let's drop them on the floor. Pick up the fur pouch. We will equip that. We're going to have to get rid of the sleep belt. But it does give me a few extra slots. It doesn't actually increase my capacity. I need a backpack for that. Well, let's salvage that. Pick up that. Put the crocodile leather. There we go. Uh, let's have a quick look at the skill points. So, boost dexterity, it goes up in twos, so I want to boost that one up to 28, so I'm doing 52 to 67 damage now, which is decent. Have a look, see if there's any other enemies around. That might be it. Let's hope it's it, let's have a quick drink. Right, let's go, let's leave this area. So we discovered another one, another room. Um, there's like hunting grounds at the centre of this location, this cave first. And looks like it's going to be bugs. It'll be too difficult. Good thing about these swamps, you get these little puddles of water as well, so I can always keep hydrated. some meat from him. Right, let's enter this. I can't see a thing. Here on there. What is it? Crabs. Swamp crabs. Got three hits. They're not doing too much damage either. But they do give me crab shells as well. Uh, the meat. Do I need meat? I've got 750 so it's okay. doesn't even know I'm there. Sneak is really hot, it's really good. There we go, thievery, up another level, nice. I can't pick them up. I've got another skill point. Uh, I think that's what, level 8 at the minute, yeah. So the next one's going to be vanish, which is a good skill. Here we got then. Oh, we've got some mammoth fur and some gooseberry fizz. Right, we'll definitely take that gooseberry fizz. So let's drop my meat for now. Take that and that, and then let's pick my meat back up. There we go. So I've got 690, but I've got some gooseberry fizz, so that boosts my drink up to 120 now. And the mammoth fur is quite good. Take some more of these out. There's another one down here, up in here. Let's 
So that's it for this cave. I don't think there's anything else. There's any ore lying around. Doesn't look like it. Okay, right, let's go. Let's see if we can spend this skill point. Um, it could boost my intelligence or strength. I don't really need my strength. Not for daggers and bows, anyway. All right, let's go. Leave. I'm thinking I could go back to my uh, base actually, and we have got the dummies there, which I can train my skills on. That might be worth a shout. I just need to boost my adventuring up just so I can craft that water skin. That's my main priority. Save this for the grounds. Hopefully, it's crocodiles again. That afternoon, I'm gonna be going down soon. We'll get there before it gets to night time. Get crocodiles and wild geese. He's gone up another level, there we go, nice. So I've got vanished now, so let's put a modifier onto that ability. And what have I got for this one? So I've got bonus damage on that, let's put that on there. And then this one, I've got no abilities amplifiers for this at the minute, but that's that vanish, it hides you from sight, makes you invisible for three turns. So I could do, let's try that out, so there we go. So I've gone invisible, you won't know I've gone. There you go, he's walked off. That's a pretty cool ability, if you want to get out of trouble. Take all of these off, boost my thievery up. as well. Nice, more the merrier. Boost my skill up. Doesn't even see me. Walk straight over. There we go, thievery up another level. Nice. Let's see what's in this chest, see what we've got. A uh, copper monocle and a crude book flower. Right, we'll salvage them for some training. And let's put more skills, let's put dump another two onto dexterity. There we go, 54 to 69 damage now, nice. I'm quite powerful, haven't got the right armor at the minute. And let's have a quick look at the thievery. So level 10 now, the next one's gonna be critical hit. Your attacks have an additional 5% chance to critically hit. Uh, that should be pretty good. Go. Let's have a quick drink out of a puddle and uh, let's leave this area. Adventure in. Nice, so I can get craft the torch now. I just need one more for the water skin. So let's craft that torch now. Need some firewood. There we go. Let's craft one of them. Uh, I do need to enter a region to craft it. Not bad. Uh, let's go to the hunting grounds again because these are quite easy. It's late evening, so let's sleep until the morning. Have a drink. Let's quickly craft this torch. Oh, nice. I've got a torch now. I should be able to see in the dark. Go to caves or anything. And then next up is the water skin. You 
can actually trade thievery as well if you've got a lot of passive abilities like this so vanish i could use vanish there you go and i'll get skill points for that on my thievery so you could just spam it if you wanted to obviously be mindful it does drain your stamina also Baboons and gorillas. Oh, let's see how hard this gorilla hits. Three damage, four damage, I guess. It's manageable. We get some throwing stones. Hit them up. Or we could start training storm throwing, but that's for a different playthrough. Under the baboon, let's take you out. And let's skin this gorilla. Thievery plus one, nice. Take care of them, okay. I'm taking quite a bit of damage when they gang up on me. Got snakes, I can handle the snakes. I'm gonna pick up that gorilla fur. In there, yes, yeah, so I've got some gorilla fur, nice. Uh, skill point, we'll leave that on for now. I don't want to put it on my strength for now. Let's have a look, see what we've got then. So, we've got spear grass root, not just about that. Date seeds, oh, we've got some white fur though, which is nice. Resist holy plus three. Could do with, let's have a look in here, see what's down here. All right, let's put my torch on. There we go. Obviously, my damage is reduced for the torch. But there we go, I can see in the dark. And we've got some nice topaz here. Which I could mine if I had a pickaxe. And at the minute I'm carrying too much weight. So let's put my dagger back on. Okay, so that boosts, because that boosts my strength, it, my carry weight goes up. So I might put that on strength actually. Let's boost that to 40. It goes up to 28, so I can carry a bit more. But I can't mine anything in here, so let's go. Let's leave this area. Completed that one. Go and find some more. I need to hit that extra level in adventure to get that water skin. torch out then. Yeah, uh, which dagger should I keep on me? Keep this one because that boosts strength, dexterity and willpower. Uh, let's put my torch on. There we go. I can see in the dark. Let's go check this cave out. See what creatures we can slaughter. A savory bush. Grab some of them. Food. Snake pit. Nice. Nice and easy. I've got some baboons wandering around. Out. Where's the snakes at? There we go. Thievery's just gone up another level. Nice. Let's 
so there might be some more up here, yeah there is, upper off. To check this chest, see what we can find. We got onion seeds and copper scissors. I'll take the copper scissors, might come in handy. I'm doing a bit of tailoring. Nothing else around, let's go. Couple more peel oils and I should hit that adventure in. Follow the river down here. There we go, adventure in. So I should be able to craft the water skin. So I've got sleep faster as well. Fatigue recovery during sleep is quick for 25%. Nice. So let's craft that water skin. I need to enter a region first. That one's troublesome. We'll stay away from that for now. More up there. What is that? Hunting grounds. Well, it's enter hunting grounds. Boost some more thievery skill. Uh, let's have a quick look, see what we're on. Level 12 at the minute, so I've got critical chance. Critical hit chance 5%. Nice. Next one's going to be forget all face. Your bounty is reduced by 10% every day. Nice. So when I steal the gold, they will forget me. And backstab as well is the next one on 18. Right, let's quickly craft this water skin. Right, oh, there we go. Water skin, leather. Oh, we can use crocodile leather for that. Weight change minus 0.2 on that. I might use goat leather. That'll be it. Harry won't be as uh, heavy. Well, let's go for the leather. Let's craft one of them. And another one. Could have craft one with that as well. Let's craft that one as well. There we go, so we've got two a minute, so I should be able to hold a bit more water. Need to find a, I'm out of food actually, I haven't even realised. Oh, so I'm going to have to go get some food. What is it, it's late evening at the minute. And I've just got up another one in adventure, and so I've got bronze ingots and ice rod, nice. Take this dude out. Take the gorilla fur and some meat. That's got rid of my starvation. Need to stock some more now. There you go, thievery. Another level, nice. Got all the ganging up on me. skin from that as well yeah snake leather times five so i could craft a couple more water skins if i needed to we'll keep that on us and how much meat have we got we've got nine meat gives me 270 Let's see what's in the chest what we got uh nettle thread yeah we'll take that and a hollow bone needle the tailoring tool we'll keep that i've been spotted by something just a snake take you out grab your meat And gorilla. There you go, plenty of meat for me. Give me your meat. Give me two meat. Nice, I'm a 420. I think there's everyone.
Right, so we've got the water skin. I just need to fill it up now. Got that locate easy location there. Right, let's head up these. Let's head back to base, I think. Follow the rivers down. And then we'll go and fill up our water skins and we'll hit the uh, training dummies as well to boost our skills up. I'll reach that one. I'm going to be able to reach that. No. What about Oh, in the first. I'm gonna have to go this way. Good, because it's boosting my adventuring up as well. I can't reach that one. I know why, because I ain't got any food. Well, I'm gonna have to find some food in this region. I can't move anywhere without dying of starvation. I don't carry too much weight. Oh, is it? It's midday. Well, at least I fill my waters up, my water skins up anyway. Uh, we're gonna have to get rid of something. Bone needle, let's get rid of that. The scissors. And what else can I get rid of? Put caps, let's draw them. But what I've got. I need to get rid of something else. Um, drop the firewood. Don't need that anymore. Well, at least I can move. I just need to go find some food ASAP. Some food. Need to grab round here. What's that on here? It says there's meat. Meat and purple mushrooms. The mushrooms will probably be in a cave somewhere. Aha! What's that? Weasel. Yep. And stroke him. There we go. Good little weasel. Oh, let's kill him. Nice. Usual tail, meat. I need to drop something for the meat. Uh, what can I get rid of? Weighing me down. Probably that snake leather. Well, let's get rid of the snake leather. Let's get rid of the crocodile leather as well. Keep the meat up. The weasel. Oh, let's pet you, weasel. No, I'm gonna kill you. I need to eat you. Come here. What's you running? Get here. There we go. Oh, let's give me your meat. And you. There we go. Good little weasel. I'll die. Nice. Not anymore. I need to find these mushrooms if I can. Enough just to make it because I'm right next to a town actually. I'm next to, I'm next to Brook Dunn where I started. I should be able to go buy some food from them. Let's see. Good on here. Right, let's go. Yes, I can make it. Nice. Oh, they do sell meat. Alright, you sir. 
Gooseberries, I could grab a load of gooseberries for free. Go and do that. Speak to this farm. I'll trade some goods. What have you got for me? Give me some food. No, you got nothing for me. What about you? Right, where's the meat farmer? That's what I need. Hunter's down. There we go. Oh, that's boosted my food up a little bit. Them gooseberries they ain't done a lot, but go visit the hunter. See if he's got any uh, meat for me. Launcher, who are you? Hunter, there we go. You there? That's for anything interesting near Bought. Yeah, see, I've got some high, I've got great arena in Assassin Camp. Um, Harpy's Lair, learn all about them. Uh, let's trade some goods. Right, yes, you've got some meat. I've got gold on me, lovely. Right, let's take all the meat I can get. Trade. Oh, you are. Sorry, some nettle thread. There we go. And some mammoth fur. Other crab shells, bug shells. This stuff that I don't need. Right, how much meat can I get for that? Like, Ten, maybe. Need some more meat, we are. Don't get any more. Well, that'll do. No, I say it in 40. I did need to sleep, so. That should be enough food. I should be able to get back to base now. Where's the water? Let's quickly fill up more water skins as well. There we go. Well, let's go. Let's head back to base and try to start training these abilities up. I think I did go up another one of thievery on adventuring. So I'm on adventuring level nine now. So I've got no of trouble. Got special locations in a range of two instead of one now. And thievery is on thirteen. Uh, a couple more levels, and I should have that. With a passive ability. Yes, yeah, so I've got enough to reach it. There we go. Let's quickly fill these up. And then what I want to do is, let's head down here. Where's my barracks? Barracks are over here. We have some training dummies, there we go. Let's level these skills up. So to train these, obviously you just need to use your abilities. I do need a dagger equipped. And it looks like you can't do it with this ability. You're, you're being about this one. But now. I wonder if that trains it just by hitting it. Let's have a quick look. So uh, what we got? Theories on 32 or 34. Let's have a look. If it goes up. Two or thirty-four, no it doesn't. I'm 
No, but I've got two skill points, so I did just by using the Vanish. So, Thievery is on level 14. But we're going to have to go find some um, enemies to kill. Him? Oh, that is a woodcut. I will keep him. So, if I spend a couple more points, uh, I'll probably put two on Endurance, to be fair. Could I? Or Willpower, because that improves my health regen as well. We'll go for dexterity. Let's put two more in dexterity. So 57 to 72, so I'm dealing some pretty decent damage. Well, let's go. Let's go find some more POIs. place to go is if we head head up here again. Pop my water up as I go along. There's quite a few up here that I haven't discovered. Yeah, I like that one. Go for it. Double daggers, yeah. Spam this ability to get the thievery up. Growing hut. Uh, what's that going to be? Moss men. Uh, we've got some red foxes. Uh, it's going to be Nisegi. Okay, you're pretty tough. You're hard to kill though. What are you there? Where are you going? pretty fast don't they? I might have to get my bow out to attack him. What is that there? A ragdoll? Oh fox just walked into me. Yeah. Seggy roots from them. Uh, resist nature plus one. Nice. We need to rest up. Well, I'm going to have to get my bow out. Let's get my bow out because I can't bother to chase these. And that is there actually. Let's put them on. Back in. The rest of these, let's put the bow on. I'll also train my hunting up while I'm here. See what's in the chest, what we got then. Palm tree seed I want, and leather shield, let's salvage that. I think that is all of them. 
But that should have boosted my hunting up anyway, yeah. Halfway there to the next level. Oh, let's go, let's get out of here. Alright, next one, where should we go? Should we head into the mountains? Yeah, there we go. Oh, let's trouble someone. We'll stay away from that. It's got to be a goblin camp or a dwarf camp. Oh, we've got an easy one there. Let's go check this out. There's some silver over there as well. No good to me. A minute. The entrance. I'm not gonna have to go over. I'll tell you what, I haven't trained actually my athletics. So, next level, carrying capacity goes up to 20. I could find some things to drag around to actually eat. Um, I think that actually goes up to only level 5, does it? Yeah, only up to level 5 with dragging. So, I just need to throw some things or jump from some heights. jump down here damage okay. not too much damage but that's obviously going to give me two skill points in athletics find the entrance to this cave oh there we go I haven't found it get our watch out and who is it Adric, he's got copper short sword. That sort of could pickpocket him if he didn't notice me. But he has, so. Hit him with some bows, let's use more of skill. I can't see a thing. I will we'll take your stuff though, Adric, Thank you very much. Found a torch there. There we go, hunting level one, nice. I can salvage these for training. Get my arrows up. Uh, let's get rid of this, some of these. What have we got here? Our linen pants. I'll stick with the uh, warm fur and loincloth. That gives me stamina regen. Salvage all of these. Of all of them. And torch. Get rid of that. torch on and a dagger. Grab the rest of this stuff. Uh, I could grab a bedroll as well, that'll make sleeping a lot quicker. 135% for the rest in place. And might as well fill them up, grab some meat here. Might as well be a cannibal. I'm a goblin after all. Who we got then? Uh, log and frog toxin. No, I should take that because that adds poison to my weapon. Anything else? Any ore or anything? No. I think that's it. Geez, if I can pick them up, can I pick them up? No. If I can pick them up, they'd be pretty good for training carpentry, but uh, at the minute, I think they're empty as well. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Wipe this out. Uh, yeah, we'll take your meat as well. <sighs> I 
else we got then? Another troublesome one there. Uh, we start at Shimmy I'm running low on food. That's troublesome. That one's easy. Let's go to this. Looks like what? Overgrown hut, is it? Night time, so I'll stick with the torch. Vicious hut. Okay, right, let's go. Bow and arrow again. Some moss men as well. Get them out. Yeah, they take a few hits with the bow and arrow. I might have to swap. Swap to the daggers. Nice, thievery's just gone up. Oh, they surrounded me. Yeah, I did quite a bit of damage. Okay, last one. Nice. Got these up. Let's head off back to here. Let's just rest up and heal because they did quite a bit of damage when they surrounded me. Just go hide in a tree somewhere and um, rest until we're healed. Oh, it's an early morning, so I can't see. So let's go and murder the rest of these. Got some meat, got 750 meat. Nice. That fox, some wolves. Should be some kind of cultist in here. We got here, yeah, so we've got a note. I'll pick that up in a minute. Okay, we'll leave that. Well, let's just rest up. We'll sleep in this bed, and then we'll go take this cultist out down here. I might put that toxin on my blade, so I've got acid blade as well. Go for it. Doesn't know I'm here at the minute, so I would fucking sneak. Not with the noise penalty though. spotted me. Okay, let's quickly switch to the bow. Okay, that was easy enough. Salvage them. I didn't even need the frog toxin. Yeah, bro, well, we'll take all your stuff and we'll cut your meat up as well. To get rid of some bits, linen robes, get rid of that. Spawn mask, get rid of that. Get rid of the dagger. Oh, I wonder if I could throw the corpse around. Yeah, I can. Nice. Oh, so how much does that give me for my athletics? Because if I get up to the next one, I've got plus 20 carry capacity on that. Come in handy. We've got three for each throw by the look of it, so let's just throw his corpse around. I don't want to drag it. Not drag that, let's drop that. There we go. We throw this corpse around. Gonna take a lot of stamina as well, but it will boost it up until I get to a better ability. Then I can start training it a bit more efficiently. So athletics level six, that's giving me 20 on the carry capacity there. So I've got it to 48. Beautiful. Right, let's grab all this meat. Let's cut you up. Grab even more meat. What have we got then? Flexible mallet. Nice. Oh, we'll get rid of that. We'll salvage it. 
I've just got a weapon smithing plus one as well. Uh, what we got in here? Some bones. Human or bones. There's a bone that I fear. Let's pick that up. We'll salvage that. Okay. Alright. We'll be good. Go. Okay, let's leave this area. Well, the carry capacity's gone up now anyway, so I could get another water skin. Have we got any leather? We've got wolf fur. See if we can get another water skin. I can't use wolf fur. Alright, let's go. Yeah, what we've got here, another easy location. Let's head over to this one. Attack caravan. Humanoid arm, you can use that as a weapon. And what is it? Coyotes. Easy enough. Meat from him. There we go, the coyotes have seen me. i get some coyote fur. So I might be able to use that as a, for a water skin actually. No, I can't. Well, we'll trade it up anyway, the skills. There we go. Two hits, you're dead. Let's rabbit. Bit of fur, can I use rabbit fur for a water skin? Go and thievery is up another level, nice. So now we are on level 16 for thievery so i've got forgettable face the next one's going to be a backstab so change position with a target attack from behind dealing more damage nice i think i went up and adventuring didn't i yeah so i've reached max on adventure at level 10. Uh, athletics the next one's going to be sprint which is going to be good ability to have so i need to level nine that so i'll probably need to throw a few more corpses around see me at these. How do we switch places then? Turn on. That's that other one. See so what we've got in the chest then. What we've got a stinging loincloth. Uh, we've got some bovine leather and an arctic flower. Let's get rid of that. Uh, let's use two on. Let's put two more on what dexterity. There we go. 59 to 74 damage now. And let's train the athletics up. So, what do I need? I need to throw something around. See if I can throw that around. Yeah, let's throw this leg around. Athletics plus one. So level seven, I need two more levels to get to that sprint. Once I get that, I could just spam that sprint to train my athletics then. So let's just quickly chuck this around. More levels.
there's one level. One more. So tedious doing this to level up. Oh, I didn't want to attack it, I've just destroyed it. Okay, we're gonna to have to find something else. There we go, there's a humanoid arm there, let's throw that around. There we go, nice. So, athletics level nine. So I've got this ability now, sprint reduces movement speed, so I haven't got any amplifiers to put on them actually. Do with some of them. I've got that ability now, so I can train that one up to what we've got on it. Maximum on athletics all the way up to level 20. So I could just spam this ability here. It boosts my speed up as well, which is good. I think we've completed this one, haven't we? Yes. All right, let's go. Let's leave. I've got two skill points. I'll probably bank them for now. We go next one, that's troublesome. Easy. We'll do some more water really. So let's go top up more water here. We head into the desert. Mm, there's no rivers or anything up there, so heading that way up. We will need to probably get some more water skins. And cave there, we've also got hunting grounds. Well, it's heading to the hunting grounds. Lava. <clears throat> let's, uh, let's put the let's tap the bow and arrow. And let's switch to my daggers again. I've got acid blade now for ten turns as well against this gorilla if he sees me. Oh, he's wasting my turns. You bastard. Never get to do it. That's everything. What have we got there? Little one scale and uh, mushroom soup. Nice, we'll take that. Yeah, we'll keep them for now. Along to the next level. So hunting, I'm nearly there. I need one more. Give me another skill point. Uh, sense life, that would be pretty good. So I can see the presence of all living beings in 20 tall radius around me. And thievery, I'm nearly there. And thievery as well, to be fair. I think one more. Head to one more POI and then I should be able to level up both of them. And we'll level up our athletics while we're doing it. Here we go, let's go to the cave down here. Thing, a torch. Get gorillas. Yeah, that's fair enough. Get the gorillas out. There we go. Thievery. Run up another level. Right, level 17 at the minute. Next level is going to be 18. And then I think what I might do switch to my bow and arrow. Oh, there's people in here as well. Bartram. 
Let's swap to my bow and arrow. There we go, the printing's just gone up a level as well. A level eight now. I think. Oh, let's just hit him with a bow. see outside oh god I've just run into a snake pit okay well right, let's use this take you out Hunting's just gone up another level nice get these bows up these arrows god there's snakes everywhere okay I do need to craft some bandages at some point all right let's just go head over here let's rest up and I'll go back in and kill that last bloke Doing that, let's have a quick look. It's got four skill points at the minute. Athletics is going up nicely. Hunting's level nine, so I've got sense life now, which is a good skill. So we'll need to craft some bandages at some point. Uh, I need to unlock them first. Are they on adventuring? I can't remember. Yeah, level 17. I need to find trainer to boost my adventuring up as well so I can craft some bandages. Go pick up more bows again. Oh, nice. Let's take all of these, salvage all of these. And a snake, let's take care of you. So I don't need to butcher any of them. Just get rid of some of these. That'll be some of this. Screw club, we'll get rid of them. Iron short sword, let's get rid of that one. I think that's it. So I've just gone up one level in tailoring also. Uh, should we use four of these? What should we use it on? I need one on there anyway. That's just because I'm using this bow at the minute. What happens if I put them on? 34. Um, endurance. I'm taking quite a lot of damage, physical damage. So I'm up four of them onto endurance. Boost my defense up a little bit. Get this torch out. Let's have a look around here. Get else around here. We got the chest yet? Where's the chest? Surely the chest is not round here. Ah, oh, there it is. On the outside, what we got then? Snowflake earrings, leather apron, and a sleek leather robe. Get rid of them. I need any of them. Uh, no good to me. Done. I'm going to train them up quite a bit, them skills. I 
Let's enter Karaduka town. See if we can find someone that's going to train me in adventuring. No, nothing I need. I need adventure really to get some bandages. But we're looking pretty good so far. Put that on. 59.74 damage. Uh, dexterity 34. I need a backpack really. But athletics level 9, we're looking good on that. Hunting's level 9 and my thievery skill, I've nearly maxed that out to level 20 next, so I should hit that soon and then we'll continue doing that. So you've got blind, critical hit from dexterity, rob, rob a stash of a family, that's the one I want to get because I want to start robbing people. But we're looking pretty good so far. So that's it for episode 1 guys, I appreciate you for watching. If you did enjoy the video, drop us a like, drop us a sub if you do like the content. And I will see you in part two.